everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting, where I, the Tinker's daughter, happen to have some wonderful news. I made it work! I made it work! I made it work! I made it work! <laughs> so if you guys recall, yesterday we started working with the Tinker trades. And one of the problems we ran into, though, was that the blank, like, sheets, the little, the little, like, blank, um... Plates? What the heck do I call those things again? I can't believe I've already forgotten. The blank cast, there we go. We're taking a long time to make because we would have to stand here and pick them up, but I figured out, you guys, and let's turn this puppy back on, that you can actually put the cast right here. So think about this. This means that if you put in like one of the cast forms, because there's so many different casts for making different weapons and different pieces, we could probably mass produce some of these if we were ever in the mood to. So think about all of those special arrows that come with Tinkers. Look at all those. We could potentially, potentially manage to, to set these up. Like we could make cactus arrows, just like endless cactus arrows. That would be amazing. But if you watch, then once this puppy gets going and starts churning out, the liquid it'll fill into this plate I think we just have to wait for it to get working again yeah it's got it's got some some of the brass in there but once it starts filling up the plate then it spits it out down here and they make blank cast look at how many we have we have 43 of them which is so awesome I've actually run out of lava I think I need to go get more lava before we can we can actually do this. Can you believe that? We've already run out of lava. We've been making this machine work so hard. Oh my goodness. And we've got so much in our inventory. <gasps> Freezer Bunny. Freezer Bunny. Assistant Freezer Bunny. Oh my goodness. I have to talk with these cows. They're just causing so much trouble. But yeah, we have a lot just kicking around in our inventory that we're going to clear out for now. Um, anything we don't need. Often I need an oak wood plank, so I'm going to keep that, as odd as that seems. We seem to be okay without the potion of healing. Oh my gosh, what was that? A dog just cried out in pain. Why? Puppies? What happened? Are you guys okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, everyone's okay. I don't know why someone suddenly made like a lot of noise and some one of you guys said in comments it was amazing i love reading what you guys say in comments that it's going to be a mouthful to call all those dogs now and you are so right it is definitely a mouthful to call all the dogs but let's go get more lava get away all of you please don't die oh thank goodness hey all of you chew chew oh my gosh these chickens they're they're like nether wart obsessed they want all my nether wart there we go. And uh, since, you know, I'm just going to leave the lava thing down there. Let's get some lava straight from the source. Just because we can. Alright. I'm still so surprised. We've almost cleared out, like, a whole room full of lava just with what we're doing in Tinkers. It, I guess it's using up a lot more energy resources than I realized. If we're, like, clearing out that much lava. All right, let's come over here, get some of this, get some of this. Oh, there we go. Filled up the lava. Look at that. Lava physics. I've never really researched lava physics very, very much, so this is very exciting for me. But today, I actually think we are going to get a little bit of a break of working with the machinery. Get out of here. Experiment 404. And a little bit of a break from doing all of the... Uh, the exhibit planning and building, we need to stretch our legs. I know that I personally desperately need to be able to get out in the wilderness now and then. Just to, to have a moment to breathe out where nature is rich and abundant. And so we're going to go on a little walk around our own territory. We're going to take a good moment to see just what's out there. All right, now is it working? I think it's full of the wrong kind of stuff because it was working just fine before and then I stopped it because I was like I got to show everybody how it's working and now I think I blew it up <laughs> oh dang it aluminum brass no it's the right one huh hmm hmm interesting um I hate to do this but if I reset it whoop will this work Okay, let's pop all the pieces back where they belong. 
hate to waste that. Man. But it's important to see if I have, like, totally befuddled it. Alright, let's see this again. Okay, here it comes. The aluminum brass. That's what we need. There we go. I guess you just kind of have to reset it once you start messing with it. So the aluminum brass there. You see how fast it goes? Fills it up. Fills it up. And then, boink, immediately into the chest. There we are. So I guess I just had to reset it or something like that. Alright, and now we're out of molten aluminum brass. So... Hopefully it won't try to stick any of the copper or anything like that in here. Let's put more copper in here. We've actually gone through several stacks of our aluminum and copper ore berries. So I've been very pleased with how this is working. Alright, there we go. Got to put more aluminum in when we come back. But let's just leave that puppy running for now. And then we're going to come up here and let's take a moment. I do want to just walk around our territory, see how everything's going. Uh, collect a few things like plants. We need a lot of wood, actually. Oh, geez. I'm, I'm just going to leave Lily's backpack here. There we go. <laughs> and let's empty out Tate's backpack. Because we actually do need to collect um, the wood. So that we can make, like this, we need oak wood. So we can make barriers, the barricades that are needed to trade with the tinkers. That was totally unexpected. I mean, barricades, barricades, tinkers, but those are the rules. I know, right, Nightlock? Nightlock's like protesting angrily in the background. All right, let's stick all of these things away. Sit, stay in place, it can stay. I'll put my armor on. And it's just been a long time since we've just walked around our own territory. Let's go see what's out in nature, you guys. We have three <laughs> reusable safari and it's four. Oh, and the storms again. Well, we'll try to sleep through the storms. All right, and I'll actually keep my sword of light and my bow on me just in case. And the shears. The shears are going to be most useful. That's for feeding the dogs. We'll put this away. Leave the arrows over here. We don't only need that in case of werewolves. We are going to be doing some cutting down of things. So let's go ahead. I guess I'll put the bow over there. There we go. You gotta get organized too. Don't get me wrong. All right, coal in here. And Tate's back, almost empty. Let's take the throw bone actually. That'll be fun to have an extra throw bone. And let's leave the landmines here. I'm okay with leaving the landmines here. That's fine by me. I don't, I don't need to drag them with me. All right, and then put these away, put these away. I think we're about ready to go. Darling, I hope you're gonna be okay. I'm gonna leave everybody in here, here. Oh my gosh, I have way too many animals and safari nuts, that's for sure. We need to work on that too. How did I get all these eggs? Get out of here. All right, and then let's eat some. I keep my tea just in case. Eat some old world veggie soup. All right, darling, I'm going to go try to have a wonderful little adventure just exploring around our own territory because, you know, we've actually gone so far afield for our adventuring that it's kind of surreal just to look around, around the zoo. Oh, no. Is it going to rain us out? Come on, come on. Aw, oh, man. Oh, well, a little light rain never hurt anybody, except maybe the cats. They, I don't think they'd be pleased. I know, right, Bella? She's like, of course not. And then Persephone. We're going to try something new with Persephone. We're going to try enchanting, like, a few lower-level books. Because she's actually ready for book enchantments. All right, what are you going to write for us, Persephone? Let's do a level 13. Sharpness 2. Let's do a level 15. Archaeology 1. Cool. All right, Persephone. Varying it up a little bit today. Right? She's like, yeah, I'm proud about it. There, put the books away. And then let's go ahead and we're going to pick a couple dogs to take with us, even though it is raining. I think Iris and maybe Ash. So let's check Ash. He has puppy eyes. He has a low-level pack puppy. So we'll bring him with us. And then Lily. Lily, how did you get on the outside, Lily? That's not good. How did you manage that? You silly goose. Maybe it was you making noise earlier. There we go. Now she's safe on the inside. Oh, all the rain, all the rain. Iris! <laughs> I don't think Iris wants to come. She's like, nope, I'm good. I'm covered. All right, well, let's bring Alia. Because she, we haven't really brought Alia yet. 
on anything. What is she good for? She actually has a really high pack puppy, so she's going to be very good for, uh, whoops, not wandering. There we go. Tackle? Do you not do it? There we go. Aggressive. Yay! So we're bringing a couple A pups, or, or a couple of our A team. In fact, it is our A team. And we're just going to head out, and we're going to do a little bit of exploring just around the area. I can't believe it's raining so hard on this day. Oh, and actually, let's peek to see if the bunnies are still doing well. Oh, yep, there's Tulip! Hey, sweetie! So Tulip and Thor are still doing well in the multi-species exhibit with our deer, which makes me very, very happy. And let's see, where should we go today? Cross the cougar pen. And... Our goal is to find oak trees. We need to cut down a lot of oak trees today because the oak trees are going to be what gives us, and you know what, these are kind of sad, pathetic looking oak trees, so let's just clear these ones out. Why not? We can always put saplings back down too. All right, we need lots and lots of oak wood and we're gonna explore our own area while we gather it. I missed my hat. I missed my hat, you two. The Anvil Man destroyed my hat. I've forgiven him for it, but he's going to have to be made a Leaf Sister once he gets introduced. And that'll be in Season 2. It's going to be amazing. Ooh, there's another oak tree. Oak tree, what you doing? This is a birch tree forest. And let's actually go behind Kaffir's house, I think, because I'm not back there often. Oh, what a beautiful butterfly. I'm not back there very often, so let's go through the bridge we made for her. Absolutely awesome. Oh my gosh! Ash! Ash, are you okay? Dude! That was a fall! Careful! Man, I definitely need to bring the pups out on some low-level missions like this because they need to learn how to, to safely navigate the world. Jeez. He just, like, plunged off. Oh, and here's our, our int team, as usual, hanging out over here. All right, here are the snakes. Here's some apples. We gather up some... Oh, it's for these goats again. Little Goat Canyon. There's so many goats in Goat Canyon. It always cracks me up. They live down here all the time. All right, let's climb out. And then I've got to close it back up. I'm sorry, goats. This is Goat Canyon. This is where you live. Well, actually, I'll leave it open, and we'll see if they wander in or out. All right, here we go. Yeah, these are some of Kaffir's trees she planted. Isn't it wonderful? Even though Kaffir is now a full-time teacher, so she doesn't really have the time or opportunity to work with us. Um, she is available. Oh, my gosh. I actually have to sacrifice one of my planks. Where's a bed? I thought I had my bed, but I forgot. Oh, Alia, I'm so glad you have my bed. Which is actually cloned from the one that Iris took. Oh, jeez. Snoozy time. Phew! Hopefully that'll lighten up both the rain and the bugs. Thank you, Ash, for picking up my bed. Or Alia? Alia picked up the bed again. That's hilarious. I guess she's my bed carrier. Oh, hello! I didn't even see the elephants and the zebras. <gasps> Look at the pretty flowers! Oh, goodness! I'm just gathering the yellow toad flax. Don't mind me, sir. Oh my gosh. It's been too long. Oh, the blazing stars. It's been far too long. Oh, and the wildflowers. We should make a wildflower bouquet and take it to Mara. Wouldn't that be fun? We need a florist stand. When we start opening like our market stand in the Village of Light, we need to put a florist stand that we sell. Oh, let's get these stinging now out of here before the dogs get hurt. Where we sell like bouquets of flowers. That would be so amazing. All right, there's some ants just gathering up some wildflowers. Oops, let's get those stinging nettle out of here before they hurt somebody. And it would be fun to have an apothecary who we could take like the stinging nettle and the, the lily of the valley to. And then we could turn it into them in exchange. Oh, there's a polar bear. Let's avoid the polar bear. But we could turn in like the the poisonous plants and they could change it into maybe like some of the healing potions and things like that. I really need to see if we can get like many, many more potions. Oh no. No, 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 no. 
The thing is, they'll chase you forever. Oh, it's a little mouse. How cute. Wow, I can't believe I've never really spent time over here. Are you being chased? No, thank goodness. All right. I don't like killing polar bears. Don't kill polar bears, kids. If you need to remember anything, it's don't kill polar bears. Unless, like, you might die. And that's justifiable. And by might die, I mean, like, you're being enclosed in the jaws. Oh, pardon me, little one. I'm, that's very rude to cut down the tree the fox is resting under. But let's go ahead. Here we go. And we can swap out this oak sapling so that we can just quickly, like, replant. Oh, there's so many pretty flowers. Look at these carnations. And as we go around, we will leave oak saplings behind us in areas where the trees will grow so that we aren't just completely deforesting things. You always want to try to return some of what you take, whether it's kindness, whether it's like somebody's time. It's just, it's just the cool thing to do. All right, look at all these. Oh my gosh, and there's a cute little thing with a cute little horse. Here you go, horse. Now you and the goat can get out. Look at this, what a cute little cave. Just gonna kind of bob my way over. Oh, I think there's a mine shaft right here. With our upgraded technology, I can kind of see it for just a second on the map. Like this way and then down. See? I can just vaguely see it, I think, on the map. If that's a mine shaft. I wonder if it is, Alia. Now I'm pretty curious. Because again, this is basically in our own backyard. We're not even having to go very far. And already we're finding like awesome bone piles. Oh, here we go. There's something over here. Oh, more bone piles. Let's collect those up. Oh, wow. Wow. I wonder if this is like a fossil reservoir. Oh, wow. Let's collect these. I feel like the bone piles we should also be able to turn into our paleontologist. And the paleontologist can turn it into like, um, you know, the paleontologist can then turn around and turn it into uh, biofossils, or they could turn it into relics, or maybe maybe just the bones of the expired. Oh, where are we going now? Oh my goodness. Wow. Actually, we kind of need that iron now because we've smelted almost all of our iron. I hear, I hear bull baddies. Oh, wow. Under our own feet. Look at that leaf. Oh, look at that. Don't need you in my face. Good job, Alia. Glad to know. Glad to know there's a dog willing to jump to my rescue there. This is a place of very pretty vine color. And a place of very pretty, like, let's see, let's just gather these up. There we go. And a place of very pretty waterfalls. What was that? Keep an ear out, dogs. Oh, there's a little, some more aluminum. We need so much aluminum now that we've figured out more uses for it. I can't believe now that I've figured out the smeltery, our need for ores has just gone through the roof. All right, what's over here? I want to get back to collecting the plants because actually we need more of the plants than we need the ores. But I just want to explore for a second or two more because it's so, like, Mara would just be determined to explore every nook and cranny and light up every bit and piece of this whole area. Oh my goodness. Well, there's an orberry bush. Holy moly. Oh, it's cool. So we only get to be have the area lit up that we've explored. <gasps> this is a chasm. We're right on top of a chasm. Be careful, my pups. Oh, my gosh. I think there's a spawner. Oh, my gosh, you guys, we found a spawner. I have like literally eight torches left. Cool! What a fun little afternoon find! Wow, this is awesome! Like I said, right under our feet. What do we get? The Music Disc 13. 
some wheat, which is actually hard for us to get our hands on, believe it or not. Uh, single use safari nuts, not bad. A little bit of string. Uh, we can leave the asparagus seed. Some bread, still sword. We can leave that too. Uh, okay, nice, 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 nice. And we've even got a little glowing mushroom. So that was pretty cool. So we'll about face now. Also, I don't want to fall down that chasm. Do we have Moonworm Queen with us? Let's maybe we'll toss something down there to like light it up. All right, hang on. There we go. This is why we brought Tate's pack with us so that we can fill up all of the awesome treasures that we find. I did not expect to find a chasm though. That was kind of cool. But yeah, so like we need to think of other things. Okay, let's be very careful here. All right, so what I want to do is take this out and let's get Moonworm Queen out. Pardon me, your majesty. We need to explore the chasm. Look at that. And just like that, with her powers, we're able to drastically light up this chasm and get a phenomenal easy view of everything that's waiting for us, which is a whole big pile of gold and an even deeper area. So yeah, we'll be back here one day. This is a nice, nice area to explore. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. You may now, I need to make her like a snooze corner. I need to go and I need to get her like some vines. I need to just like surround her. Like up here could be her snooze corner and we'll just put vines and leaves right there so that she can rest in, in her, her royal throne room inside of my pack. That sounds appropriate because she is the amazing Moonworm Queen. So personally, okay, <laughs> let's not fall down there. So personally, I think it's only appropriate that we, that we treat her with such dignity as royalty befits. Alright, which, you know, moonworm royalty no less, which is quite a bit of dignity in my personal opinion. Alright, so this has actually been a very successful little adventure. Jeez, Alia, I almost smacked you. I thought that you were like some scary spooky thing. But yeah, quite a successful little side adventure just to collect a few things. In fact, I don't think we're quite done. Ooh. Oh, look at that cool leaf. Oh, amazing. It's a wonder of, wonder of nature, that leaf. Do you get out from here? I think so. Man, it's been a while since we've collected glowing mushrooms. This is cool. This is a nice little cave. This is a very nice little cave. Maybe Mara will come explore it with us. But we need to pop back up how much wood. I don't think we have a lot of wood yet. And we need a lot of it for the trading, actually. So I think we might have to spend some more time gathering the wood, unfortunately. But that's not that's not too bad, actually, because we also get to get some cool plants while we're at it. All right, and we'll work our way out of the cave. Work our way out of the cave. Thank you for guiding us here, animals. It was actually quite fascinating. Okay, and here we go. And almost there. Come on. Out of the water. Okay, there we go. Gather up these ores. Thank you. Almost out. Almost out. Yay! We're out. Almost. Oh, wow. We really wandered. Wow! I forgot how far we wandered. But alright, and now we're back out, guys. Yay! Just in time for the sun to set and a giant pool of tar. Not the best. Not the best for general, general health. Are you guys okay? Oh, no! It was the Lily of the Valley! See what I mean? We need to turn these into the apothecary. Oh my gosh. And continue to give your ideas. Oh, I'm sorry, Pup Pup. And continue to give your ideas, you guys, on all of the amazing things that we should potentially add to the Village of Light. Like, uh, you know, grocery stores, planters, florist stalls, one of which I want to run myself and like have custom floral stuff. It'd be amazing. Holy days, that, that gobble gobble just about scared the bedoodles out of me. And we still don't have a lot of the oak wood. Drat. Hmm. All right, Alia. But it is snooze time. So I suppose we'll just have to do what we can tomorrow with our market day. And let's climb into bed and get some... Oh, dear. Okay, yeah, we're getting some rest. Nope, not getting some rest. Not getting some rest. There. Okay, Snake, don't slither into my bed, please. Please. Please, no. Okay. Ha! I finally have my bed back! Oh my gosh, thank goodness. But yeah, we'll have to spend some time on Saturday doing some more exploring 
and oh. gathering. Look at the giant snake over there. That is one full python. I think it just slithered up to enjoy some, some maybe some kids, some little kids from the goats. Hmm. That is the cycle of life, the cycle of life, Ashnalia. But yeah, it is market day, so we'll just have to take what we have, and I will see you guys for that side quest. And then I think tomorrow we will continue with Ash and Alia on adventuring and exploring into the far reaches of our backyard. <laughs> Look, you can even still see our trees from here. So we're going to start heading home, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.